Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Dear students, have a nice day. Hope you will be fine. Best of your health. This is Dr. Sajid Mahmud Rao, Division of Science and Technology, University of Education, Lahore. Today, we are talking about steroid hormones, steroidogenesis, its applications, and uh, biosynthesis. This is our third lecture on steroidal hormones, in which we will discuss about uh, adrenal cortex, gonads, and different pharmaceutical brands of steroidal hormones. Let's see aldosterone. The, this molecule consists of total number of carbon atoms 21 and hydrogen atoms are 28 and oxygens are 5. There is a presence of carbonyl group at carbon 3 positions and one methyl groups at carbon 9 position, hydroxyl group at carbon 11 positions and an aldehyde group at carbon 13 position. In addition with the methoxy group which is attached to the carbonyl group at carbon 17 position. So the molar mass of this molecule is 360.450 gram per mole. Let's see the solubility uses and sources of aldosterone. Aldosterone is produced in the cortex of adrenal gland and uh, it is soluble in organic solvents such as ethanol, dimethyl sulfur oxide and dimethyl foramide which should be purged with an inert gases. Aldosterone affects the body's ability to regulate blood pressure. It sends the signals to organs like the kidney and colon that can increase the amount of sodium the body sends into the bloodstream or the amount of potassium that is released in the urine. The next molecule is testosterone which comprises of carbon 19, hydrogen 28 and oxygen 2. You can see over here in the structure of testosterone there is a presence of carbonyl group at carbon number 3 and a double bond at carbon number 4 in the first ring in addition with the hydroxyl group at carbon 17 position. Testosterone is the primary male sex hormone and anabolic steroid. In male humans, testosterone plays a key role in the development of male reproductive tissues such as testes and prostate glands as well as promoting scantry sexual characteristics such as increased muscles and bone mass and the growth of body hair. In addition, testosterone is involved in health and well-being and the prevention of osteoporosis. Insufficient levels of testosterone in men may lead to abnormalities including frailty and the bone loss. The chemical formula of testosterone is C19H28O2 and the molar mass is 288.431 gram per mole and melting point is 151.0 degree centigrade. Let's see the sources, uses and therapeutic of testosterone. It is produced uh, by the men gonads which is the major source for the production of the testosterone. Testosterone is soluble in ethanol, methanol and uh, it is used for primarily to treat symptoms of sexual dysfunction in men and women and hot flashes in women in additions with to increase the the desire of libido. Let's see the last molecule which is presented on this page is DHT that is dihydrotestosterone. The molecular formula of dihydrotestosterone is carbon 19H30O2 and molar mass is 290.447 gram per mole. So there is a difference between testosterone and dihydrotestosterone only the presence of double bond at carbon 4 positions which is 
present in testosterone and uh, however absent in the dihydrotestosterone while all other structural features are the same as that of the testosterone most dht is produced in the peripheral tissues like the skin and the liver whereas most circulation dihydrotestosterone originates specifically from the liver so these are the main major sources from which dihydrotestosterone is generated dihydrotestosterone is soluble in dimethyl sulfur oxide and ethanol and when we see its uses dhd is biological important for sexual differentiation of the male male genitalia during embryogenesis maturations of the sex organs and scrotum at puberty growth of facial body and pubic hairs and dhd is used for the development and maintenance of the prostate glands and seminal vesicles dear students these are some important pharmaceutical brands of steroid molecules which you have missed in our previous lectures so we we'll discuss some important nutraceutical brands the first brand is high lignin flaxseed complex it is manufactured by in white nutraceuticals we take 600 mg per day its dose and it's formulated in capsule dosage form the activity of this brand is hormonal balance cholesterol control and prevent hair loss the second brand is super omega 3 which is manufactured by life extensions and we take 10 mg per day its dose it is formulated in soft gel capsule the activity of this brand is cholesterol control the name of third brand is 7 hmr lignans it is manufactured by swenson ultra and we take its dose 40 mg per day it is formulated in capsule dosage form and the activity of this brand is electro lacto enhancer let's see how different kinds of hormones are synthesized within the mitochondrial section and uh, we will discuss about the adrenal cortex as well as we will discuss about the enzyme which is responsible as a precursor for the synthesis of different kinds of hormones the adrenal cortex is the outer region and also the largest part of the adrenal gland it is divided into three separate zones zona glomerulosa zona fasciculata and zona reticularis each zone is responsible for producing specific hormones now we will see how the cholesterol is changed into pregnenolone cholesterol is a hormone which is consisted of carbon 27 and by the effect of enzyme p450 scc that is a mitochondrial enzyme that catalyzes conversion of cholesterol to pregnenolone this is the first reaction in the process of steroidogenesis in all mammalian tissues that specialize in the productions of various steroid hormones so in the second step the pregnenolone is converted into 17 hydroxy pregnenolone by the effect of enzyme 4p450 carbon 17 which is the single enzyme mediating both 17 alpha hydroxylase steroid 17 alpha monooxygenase and 1720 lyase activity in the synthesis of steroid hormones it has been suggested that different p450 carbon 17 isozymase mediate these activities in the adrenal glands and testes so this enzyme converts the pregnenolone into 17 hydroxy pregnenolone In the next step the 17 hydroxy pregnenolone is changed into DHEA that is dihydroepi androsterone by the effect of enzyme P450 carbon 17 DHEA that is dihydroepi androsterone is a hormone produced by your body's adrenal glands 
these are the glands just above your kidneys dhea supplements can be made from wild yam or soy dhea further rearranged into androsterone by the effect of enzyme 1720 lyase let's see how the pregnenolone and 17 hydroxy pregnenolone is changed into progesterone and 17 hydroxy progesterone respectively by the effect of enzyme 3 beta hst 150m 3 beta hydroxy steroid dehydrogenase isomerase that is abbreviated as 3 beta hst is an enzyme that catalyzes the biosynthesis of steroid progesterone from pregnenolone 17 alpha hydroxy progesterone from 17 alpha hydroxy pregnenolone and androsterone from dehydroandrosterone that is dhea in the adrenal glands it is the only enzymes in the adrenal pathway of corticosteroid synthesis that is not member of the cytochrome p450 family it is also present in other steroid producing tissues including the ovary testes and placenta in humans there are two 3 beta hsd isozymase in encoded by the hsd 3 beta 1 and the hsd 3 beta 2 genes 3 beta hsd is also known as delta 5 4 isomerase which catalyzes the oxidative conversion of delta 5 3 beta hydroxy steroid to the delta 4 3 keto configurations and is therefore essential for the biosynthesis of all classes of hormone steroids namely progesterone glucocorticoids mineralocorticoids androgens and estrogens the 3 beta hsd complex is responsible for the conversion of pregnenolone to progesterone 7 alpha hydroxy pregnenolone to 7 alpha hydroxy progesterone dhea2 androstene dione androstene dione to testosterone and andro androstenol to androstene dione in this way the pregnenolone is converted into progesterone by the fact of enzyme 3 beta hst similarly in the second step the 17 alpha hydroxy pregnenolone is changed into 17 hydroxy progesterone by the effect of 17 hydro 17 20 hydroxylase enzymes on this stage the progesterone and 17 hydroxy progesterone are changed into 11 doc and 11 deoxycortisole by the effect of enzyme 21 hydroxylase the enzyme 21 beta hydroxylase is a cytochrome p450 enzyme that is involved in the biosynthesis of steroid hormones aldosterone and cortisol this synthesis takes place in the adrenal cortex as you know specifically 21 hydroxylase converts progesterones and sulfa 17 alpha hydroxy progesterone into 11 deoxy corticosterones and 11 deoxycortisol respectively so the progesterone by the effect of enzyme 21 hydroxylase gives 11 dog that is called deoxycorticosterone which is further converted into corticosterone by the effect of enzyme p450 aldosterone and p450 hydroxylase in this way the 11 deoxycorticosterone is changed into cortisol simply and at the end the corticosterone is changed into aldosterone by the effect of enzymes p450 11 beta aldo and 18 hydroxylase as well as by the effect of enzyme 18 oxidase which gives finally the hormones aldosterone
let's see what is gonads a gonad uh, is a sex gland a reproductive gland is a mixed gland that produces the gametes that is sex cells and the sex hormones of an organism in the female of the species uh, the reproductive cells are the egg cells and in the male the reproductive cells are the sperm the male gonad the testicles produces sperm in the form of spermatozoa the female gonad the ovary produces egg cells both of these gametes are haploid cells let's see how different kinds of hormones are synthesized within the gonads the cholesterol is a precursor which is used for the convergence of uh, pregnenolone by the fact of 450 enzyme scc in the second step the pregnenolone is further changed into 7 hydroxy pregnenolone by the effect of enzyme 450 carbon 17 that is 17 hydroxylase which have been discussed in the previous slide the 7 hydroxy pregnenolone is further converts into dhea that is dihydroepiandrosterone by the fact of enzyme 1720 lyase the dhea is changed into androsterone by the fact of enzyme 1720 lyase let's see how pregnenolone and 17 hydroxy pregnenolone is changed into progesterone and 17 hydroxy progesterone respectively the pregnenolone is changed into progesterone by the fact of enzyme 3 beta hst and the 17 hydroxy pregnenolone is changed into 17 hydroxy progesterone by the fact of enzyme 1720 lyase let's see how androsterone is changed into testosterone and estrone the androsterone is changed into testosterone by the fact of enzyme 17 beta hsd and changed into estrone by the fact of enzyme 450 aromatase the testosterone and estrone is further changed into dhd that is dihydrotestosterone by the fact of enzyme 5 direct and estrone is changed into estradiol by the fact of enzyme p450 aromatase so this is the general procedures for the biosynthesis of different kinds of in hormones and the effect of different kinds of enzymes upon it let's see the functions of some steroidal hormones steroid hormones play an important role in carbohydrate regulations which is carried out by the hormone glucocorticoids it is also used in the mineral balance in which mineralocorticoid is used for the said purpose the hormones which is used for the reproductive functions is the gonadal steroids steroid also play an important role in the inflammatory responses it is also used for the stress responses and bone metabolism the hormones can also be used for the cardiovascular fitness behavior cognitions and mood swings here in this slide we will discuss the functions of some important hormones which have been derived from cholesterol first the androgens it is strongest that is testosterone produced in the testes primarily but weak androgens in adrenal cortex that is anabolic steroid it is used for the development of male secondary sex characteristics and prevents bone desorption the second hormone is estrogen which is produced in the ovaries primarily but also in the adipose cells of male and females it is used for the development of female secondary sex characteristics and also used to prevent bone desorption the third hormone is vitamin d not a steroid hormone produced in the skin in response to uv light and processed to active form in kidney it is used in the intestinal calcium absorption 
promotes bone formation and prevents phosphate loss by the kidneys let's see what are the carotenoids carotenoids are the organic phytoconstituents that are isolated from less to medium polar fraction of the plants and these are yellow orange and red pigments which belongs to the category of tetraterpenoids the tetraterpenoids consist of isoprenoid unit and that unit is c5h8o you can see over here some important examples and that examples are lycopene canthazanthin astaxanthin and beta carotene the first molecule that is lycopene lycopene is a bright red carotenoid hydrocarbons found in tomatoes and other red fruit and vegetables such as red carrots and watermelons grapefruits and papayas but it is not present in strawberries and cherries although lycopene is chemically a carotene however it has no vitamin a activity when we see its uses the lycopene is used as a food supplement however it is used in high blood pressure high cholesterol cancer and many other conditions but there is no good scientific evidence to support these uses the second molecule is canthazanthin canthazanthin was first detected from an edible mushroom in 1950s it has since been identified in sea trout algae daphnia salmon brine shrimp and several species of flamingo in addition to these natural sources canthazanthins can be synthetically produced from acetone when we see its uses people use it as medicine canthazanthin is used to reduce sensitivity to sunlight that is called photosensitivity experienced by people who have a great genetic disease called erythropoietic protoporphyria in these people sunlight can cause skin reactions such as itches and rashes The next molecule is astaxanthin. It is found in salmon, lobster, crab, and crayfish, as well as in krill oil and algae. When we see its uses, astaxanthin is taken by mouth for treating Alzheimer's diseases, Parkinson's diseases, stroke, high cholesterol, liver diseases, age-related muscular degenerations, age-related vision loss, and preventing cancer. The next molecule is beta-carotene. Beta carotene is a red orange pigment found in plants and fruits especially carrots and colorful vegetables when we see its uses the human body converts beta carotene into vitamin A that is called retinol beta carotene is a precursor of vitamin A we need vitamin A for healthy skin and mucous membranes our immune system and good eye health and vision vitamin A can be sourced from the food we eat Carotenoids are soluble in organic solvents and insoluble in water. Now we see the identification test of the carotenoids. Here we perform two tests. In the first test, the sample is taken in chloroform and then added concentrated sulfuric acid along the side walls of the test tube. So we get the blue color. It means carotenoids are confirmed. In the second test, the sample is taken in chloroform and added antimony trichloride which gives the blue color which indicates the presence of carotenoids common sources of carotenoids are pumpkin carrots spinach corn tomatoes bacteria and fungi some phytoconstituents have biological activities that are antioxidant anti cancer and anti inflammatory the phytoconstituents that are present are alpha carotenes beta carotene and lycopene lutein Carotenoids play an important role in biosynthesis, imports color to plants, a rich source of vitamin A used in various herbal products. Now we discuss some important pharmaceutical brands in which carotenoids are used as food supplement. So the first brand is I Factor Formula that is manufactured by Natural Factors and we take its dose 262 mg per day. It is formulated in capsule dosage form, serving per container 90 capsule. The activity of this brand is protective regions as an anti-inflammatory. The second brand is Beta Care All. It is manufactured by natural factors and we take its dose 25 mg per day. It is formulated in soft gel capsule. The activity of this brand is support immune system and cardiovascular systems for healthy skin, bone, teeth and vision. The last brand is Astextant in plus. It is also manufactured by natural factors and we take its dose 5 mg per day. It is formulated in soft gel capsules and its activity is antioxidant. 
let's see the isolation and purifications of steroids this is the specific method for the extraction and isolation of steroid molecules in this method we will take hot boiled egg shock in which 1 gram of potassium carbonate is added after that 5 gram of sand and 10 ml of methanol is added whole material is grinded and we will get the soft scrambled egg material in this material we will add 20 ml of cyclohexane and stir it for some times after that we will take the corn meal mush material the whole material is then formed for reflex and evaporation after evaporations we will get the evaporated egg mixtures in which we will add 30 ml of methylene chloride now this material is subjected for column chromatography in which we will take 15 gram of flash silica gel and layer of sand on the top so the column is packed after that the whole column is eluted with 30 ml of methylene chloride now it is rinsed with ethanol with the help of petroleum ether after that again the elution is carried out with the help of ethanol and petroleum ether with the specific ratio so in this way from the column chromatography we will get total 15 fractions and each fractions have 10 ml of volumes now each fraction is subjected for thin layer chromatography for the identifications of the pure compound as well as for the presence of steroid molecules so the cholesterol will be spread into 6 to 16 fractions now after the evaporation of cholesterol fractions we will get the cholesterol crystals in the round bottom flask now the steroid which is in the form of a cholesterol is recorded for weight and then taken its melting point after that the cholesterol is identified with the help of specific test for the confirmations of the steroid molecules so this is the specific method for the isolations and purifications and identifications of the steroids natural products dear students these are the assignments and the quiz which you would have to submit at your earliest that is describe the function of hormones also share its some nutraceutical brands with key ingredients the second assignment is discuss the mode of mechanism of cholesterol in human physiology thank you